This is the Blockade Pinball Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Freebus, a.k.a. Shut Your Trap. Joining me, as always, halfway across the world, is Jared Morgan. Hello, everybody. How's it going, Chris? <laughs> uh, you know what's doing good? Going good. Um, we're we're going to do something a little different here today, Jared. Oh, yeah? Well, we uh, we got contacted to ask, hey, would you guys mind taking a look at a new game? And I was like, why, sure. Why not? We do things new games. Like are games. Fun. <laughs> we like games. We like games. Yeah. Um, and then it was, but it has nothing to do with pinball. I went, oh. Oh. Well, that's okay. It's not necessarily our normal deal, but um, I know that we like retro gaming, and that's where this falls mm. into the wheelhouse of. All right, okay. So today, folks, we're going to... Um, it's it's semi a review, but more of a let's play of a uh, game called Gravatar Recharged. Um, basically, what's going on here is uh, a whole bunch of old Atari games have been... Getting a new lease on life <laughs> through this uh, yeah. through the studio here. Um, other games that have already been out: uh, Black Widow, Missile Command, Breakout, Ooh. Asteroids, uh, and now Gravatar. Uh, they're all under that name with a recharged tacked onto the back of them. Um, okay. I actually, <laughs> I didn't even I should have known that it was the same thing, but um, I had recently. Through Epic Game Store, they one of the games that they had for free that week was Send the Peed, uh Recharged. Oh, okay. Uh, so I, I took a look at that, and yeah, it's a very... They're, they're upgrading Atari games. <laughs> That's the best way I can do it. It's almost like, you know how there's that um, Pac-Man Championship Edition? Yeah, yeah. Where it's kind of like, yeah, this ain't the Pac-Man you remember. It's very, it feels mm -hmm. Pac-Man, but all of a sudden there's just like a lot of wow factor. That's what's going on here. They're um, bringing it up into the modern era. Yes. So, they're, they're, I mean, the thing is, the gameplay of these older Atari games, there's nothing technically wrong with the gameplay. That's the thing. But no, the graphics are dated. It's just the problem of, uh, A, getting it legally onto your system oh, no uh, without just downloading some, uh, you know, a ROM set that you found. Uh, yeah, that's and right. B, having it play at the resolution that your monitor can uh, handle and C, yes. uh, using controls that you actually have at your you know house as opposed to uh you know a trackball or a rotary or potentiometers dial. yeah or, yeah that's, that's right yeah which so many of these early games relied upon they had some really wacky control schemes yeah um so yeah you need custom controls to do it so it's good that they've standardized things i guess yeah. so you can play with whatever you have now like whether it be xbox or playstation or whatever you have available to you. So I thought uh, what we would do here, Jared has not seen this game at all. Um, the game no. just came out on uh, June 2nd. It's available on Steam and on uh, Epic Game Store, as far as I'm aware. And definitely Steam. I'm pretty sure it's, I think I double-checked it's on Epic Game Store. Uh, beyond that, mm. I'm not sure if it's, you know, on GOG or anything else like that. Um, uh, relatively inexpensive. Uh, I mean, it just kind of meets the... Uh, Meets the needs of what this kind of game is. Uh, I'm going to bump us over into the game proper itself. All right. Uh, there it is. And uh, so some of you might be going, oh, Gravatar, Gravatar, that sounds familiar. You know what? I'm just going to start in this, and you're going to see exactly what we're talking about here. Uh, so right off the bat, there's a couple things you can see here. You can... Uh, Make the game a little more difficult by only allowing yourself a single life. You can uh, earn bonus <laughs> points for not using any power-ups uh, and not using any shields throughout. The controls are relatively simple. Um, it is literally oops, <laughs> using your uh, left stick to rotate, <laughs> using your R2 button to uh, thrust, thrust, and then using... Uh, well, I don't have the shield action at the moment. I'm landing on a planet now. Um... Uh, it's basically a magnet to uh, be able to get you. And then the X button to fire. So All right, very right. simple mechanics. Uh, hard to master, though, because each... Because gravity. Well, e and each land that you go to... Oop, I took a hit. There goes one shield. You're nailed. Um, each world has a different uh, gravity rules. Oh. Yeah. So do the planets actually have their own mass and is, does that affect your aircraft as well? Uh, yeah. So A little bit. Ah, right. A little bit. So, um, like this one, you kind of 
the gravity is pretty simple. It's, I mean, it's because they just asteroids. It's, it's pretty right. neutral. Yeah, you're not yeah, yeah. you're not really having to worry about anything. So you have a little power ups here, like this is your fuel cell. So I'm gonna suck that up into my ship. <laughs> oh, it's good you don't have to actually physically drive into it. No, no. Like you can sort of like it's proximity aware, yes. right? So you just go right. Uh, and then you Th does that happen automatically, or do you have to actually press a button? No, for I'm that? pressing a button. Okay, uh, And then right. we have things like this where, boom, big explosion. You don't want to be anywhere near that when that happens. So that will damage you as well. It will damage you. It'll also damage whatever's in the area. And if any of your power-ups are in the area, <coughs> uh, like fuel, Blow them up. explode those. Oh, I almost got the, uh, the UFO there in that same thing. Oh, you so see, you can take them out. Yeah, you can see by the uh, uh, over in the upper left-hand corner, it gives you your mission objectives, um, which I just cleared. I'm going to go through Leave this little laser beam because I feel like collecting all the things, as we know I like to do. You love collecting all the things. Now, this does me absolutely no good because I already collected everything. So, and then I'm going to go off planet. And oh, so you just poof. fly off the screen. Yep, and poof, there goes the planet. Now, you notice there's these little lines here. These are the orbits of other planets. So, you so know this where helps to go. you explore? Yes. All right. Okay. Oh, this is... Because I was thinking that this might just be, you know, like asteroids. No. But it's way more than that. Right. So here the it's... planet, the, the gravity <coughs> is sucking me down. It's pulling me oh, in so a downward direction. It's pulling you in. All the time. Yes. Right. Ah, uh, because you got... Right. Yes. Okay. But what it, where that goes is then you use less fuel. And you just kind of use this to feather yourself down into... Oh, that's smart. ...zones. And then... Oh. Gotta be careful. Whoa, get past that laser. Oh, now, see, you just right, made that like one. right here. I don't want to. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh. I don't want to hit that bomb until I. Ah, I explode. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go get back <clears throat> to that. Not a Death Star. Um, <laughs> yeah, not totally not a Death Star. Totally not a Death Star. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so here, the, there you see the mission objective there is it's just to destroy the reactor. Yeah. And you notice that the mine just got exploded because. The, uh, in there before? the turret there, no, the turret there <laughs> exploded me. it for me. Oh, he fired his gun okay. And, uh, so you could actually let the other weapons in the game do some of the dirty work for you. Yeah. So some of the um, the bonuses that you can get uh, or achievements that you can do in this game is by doing things like having a turret uh, defeat an enemy for you. Oh, um, nice. It helps if I push the <coughs> correct button. Uh, it's Whoa. Suck that up. There's our reactor, which uh, I already hit, so now I got ah. Oh. Okay, well oh. I, I technically left the planet within 24 seconds. So, so you. I did. I won. I survived. <laughs> right. I, I mean, I beat it because the whole point was to destroy the reactor. However, I destroyed myself in the process, so that wasn't good. So now I'm just gonna. So this, the sun right there, is pulling me towards it. You don't want to go into there. You don't want to go to the sun. No. Nope, surprise, surprise. Um. So I'm gonna fly I around. like how, I like how each of essentially the objectives are presented in that elliptical way. Like they're actually you can follow them around and see where you need to go. It's not like the oh here you go. Nice. Oh, this is loaded with weapons. So here we're gonna try and uh, <coughs> activate our beacons, and these you have to be within an area range of it. Ooh, look that. at that. So now, I do remember playing the original Gravatar, and I remember oh, yeah? uh, doing terribly at it. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yeah. Like, really hideous. So, the other thing that's kind of nice about this game, like I said, the controls um, are very basic, yet hard to... Oh, see, this one's sucking me into the middle with the gravity. Yeah, yeah. Um... So you want to get that? Um, get that fuel uh, cell before uh, it's going to explode on its own. Oh, because I got within proximity. Because you got proximity. Mm. Kaboom! No, oh, oh, I almost oh, toasted myself close. there. Oh. oh. Oh no! I hit her. Oh no! Game over. You are dead. So if you look here, um, there's finishing it within a certain amount of time. Number of enemies destroyed. Um, uh, there was no intelligence to be stolen or solar systems cleared because I didn't do either of those things. Uh, there is one planet that uh, does have intelligence. And obviously, if you clear all of the planets, then you move into a new solar system. Um, I didn't get a single life bonus because I was using all three. Um, no shield bonus because I did get hit, and therefore my shield got used. Power-up right. bonus, probably because I sucked up fuel or whatever. Um, 
So I can either retry the game or I can go back to the menu. And there's this here, which is missions. So missions are similar to what you've already done. Uh, as you can tell, I've played through some of these. Um, mm. But so I'm going to say, let's see, hold on. So we saw... Let's do this one. Space for me only, because I think... Yeah, so this is very similar to what we already saw um, previously, but there's way more enemies. So this one, there's 15 enemies right. in total scattered throughout the map um, that you're having to, uh, to deal with. I'm going of. to save that fuel cell, because I don't want to... Use it too early. It too early. Oh, oh you got nailed. Wow. And look at that. You only get one life on this one. <laughs> One hit, you did, but it put you straight back into it again. It did. Which is so nice. you just restarted, yeah, which is good. So yeah, right. now if you got lasers here, your bullets do not go through. Oh, that's ooh, right? that's nice. It is nice. So you yeah, can it's use good. Little, um, you can use a little bit of a strategy in how you play this, how you get around doing things. Ooh. Uh, there's also uh, scattershot uh, power-ups. There's ray okay. gun, or, or excuse me, not ray gun, rail gun. Um, I don't know if this one has any of those in it. And what it basically, if I'm not mistaken, oh, yeah, let's just destroy the life pod. Uh, <laughs> at least I think that's a life pod. I have not yet figured out what everything is. Um, but with the missions, I believe you're starting to see levels as if you had cleared a solar system and what more difficult solar systems would look like. Uh, right, okay. I wonder what those things are. are they not fuel pods, are they? Oh, wow. Nailed again. Nailed again. All right, here. We're going to go try something else like uh, steal the intelligence. So this one's a little Get bit different. Oh, this looks like a maze you have to navigate through. Kind of, yeah. It looks uh, not easy. So there's me having to destroy everything, of course. Um, Can you destroy the lasers, or yep. are they just there? Yep. Lasers are just there. So it's better fun to... Whoa! Whoa! Go. Hello! Boy. Don't want to go too fast. Don't want to be a hero. Although I'm sure that once you get used to the dynamics, you can fly through these levels. Oh. I I would be playing this exactly like you though. I'll be going oh just a little bit here, a yeah, little bit there. We'll do a little bit. So your your thruster is obviously with your trigger buttons, uh, so you can feather these um, with how you know. Oh, so you have variable. Oh, right. So you got analog control yes, on them. Yes, it's analog. Oh, that's nice. This. Yeah. So that helps immensely. That's, Whereas the original game, it was, you it was know, on off. On off. <laughs> yeah. And that was really, really hard. Oh, that was a hard hit. Oh. Ouch. Oh. Ouch. That's gonna. Right. That's not gonna buff out. Boom. There we go. I am not going to destroy that uh, <laughs> mine. Because that am, will take you out. I am way too close. Now you got to get back out of this. Leave the planet. Oh, oh dear. No. So this game has very much that just one more time feel to it, which is fantastic for this kind of thing. Um, yeah, yeah. Because the first times I was playing this, I was not beating a single level. Oh, really? Um, I've until been, you got used to the controls. Until I got used to the controls and I started messing around quite a bit more and I started challenging myself and going, hey, I need to actually, you know, I want to, uh, I was trying to finish an entire galaxy. I was trying to, you know, it, it was like, I just found myself challenging myself uh, more and more. And I'm sure mm. that this is going to be oh so more uh, with leaderboards, which I can take you to right now. And look, hey, there's leaderboards because this game has been out. Look at that, I'm number 10. Woohoo, yay me. Hey, um, nice. <laughs> with less than half the score of what the number one guy is. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you can imagine this combination of uh, speed and accuracy uh, going into into all of this. Uh, I'm going to go back into... Uh, what was that multiplayer mul option? That you could do. That's a is good that... question. Hold on, I want to see just in achievements. Oh, achievements. Know, retri re retrieve 100 ask rescue pods. Destroy 150. That's asteroids. what those things are, right? Yeah. Um. You know, kill an enemy <clears throat> by leading it to the laser cannon for walk the dog. See what I mean? <laughs> There's all sorts of, you know, I've destroyed 150 basic turrets. You know, those are that's easy to do in the game. Um, yeah, yeah. Use all of power ups. Yeah, sure. You know, there's some things you're just going to do automatically, and then there's other things that it's going to be. Uh, Look at that. Complete all six planets in four solar systems. 
Oh, okay. You that's so, seems like a lot. Right. Uh, what did you say? You said multiplayer. Multiplayer, yeah. Uh, that's a good question because I've not tried Is that it. one of that's local multiplayer or I don't know. Let's just push or this. collaborative Let's, multiplayer? I'm going to push this. Uh, that would be local multiplayer. Local multiplayer. So you can go yes. cooperative. That's Which I rad. imagine that means one person. I don't know if it would be two controllers able yep, to do Yeah, two controllers, thing. I think. Yeah, I reckon. I hope so. If you can plug in two controllers and then two people play. I wonder what guy. Oh, hang on a second. Hmm. I reckon that two people can use the same keyboard to play here. Because have a look. Definitely There's that's space. what it's showing. Yeah. That's what it looks like to me. So it looks like you can you can actually you don't even need to have two controllers. You just use just the same, same keyboard. keyboard. Because you've got like what, maybe four buttons you need to push? Yes, in total. Yeah. Yeah. So there's plenty so, there'd be plenty of doing being able to do that. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's Especially pretty if rad. one person was taking the number lock or the numbers, possibly if you could program them in. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna just I wanna find another planet that we haven't done yet. Let's see. How do you know what planets you've well, done? Well, they're all and... different shapes. See? Okay. No, don't run to the asteroid. <laughs> yeah, do not. Ooh. So I'm falling, falling, falling. Hello. Oh, and I'm. Oh. Here. Yep. That yeah. Was right. That would. Yeah. So the idea is you just, if you want to go to a planet, you just go near the planet and it will suck you into its gravity, essentially. Yes. You don't need to press a button or anything. No. No. Yeah. Oh, this has got some thick gravity on it, this planet. Beacons, yeah, it's a much, much heavier gravity on this one. Oh, wow. Yeah, that, one, that this one's uh, missiles seem a lot uh, stronger than previous. But the cool thing is, is that it remembers, hey, I already destroyed that turret. And you already activated that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Because that's the thing with those earlier um, Atari games. They were designed for the arcade and designed to take your quarters. So here we're in overload, which means I can just Ooh, wow. run into things. Oh, that, that'd be uh, what I would want. At least I think it's run into things. Or maybe it's, it, it automatically charges the beacon when you get near it. I Maybe. Know. I don't know. Anyway, I've, I've, I've <coughs> dealt with that. Let's go find another planet that's different. I've already done that asteroid one. I think I already did that one, but let's try it. I'm not sure if I did or not. <coughs> no, I don't think I did. Oh, that's some beacons. Ah. <laughs> oh, oh man. I'll just hit the old retry. Uh, what was that black rock? That was over there. Let's try this one. Did I see this one already? I didn't. Yeah. Woo! Ooh. Oh, nice. Ooh, nice look little that. flick that was, shooting there. That was, that was stylish. Fancy. I almost looked like I knew what I was doing. <laughs> yeah, almost. Um, this one's just like a big... Oh, whoa. Yeah. Jeez, they're really nailing you, they eh? Are. I wonder if I turn shields off. Oh, what's that? That's a spiky planet. Or the, I just saw it off to the bottom there. And we'll see if you can find it when you come out of that planet again. Sure. Because it looked... Uh, it looked almost looked like a ship. But it probably wasn't. Oh, get rid of that life pod. Yeah, you're right. Go away, life pod. I don't need yeah, you. Do not want. Oh, here's this. Ah. Oh, man. There was that, that oh, thing. Oh, that thing. What okay, is that? You want to go what see is that? that? Sure. Let's go see. That looks like a ship. Uh, oh, that's oh, a this ooh, one of the maze levels. Mm. So it's kind of nice since this one doesn't have any gravity. You can just hover and... Try and, and nail one of these. Try and UFOs. The hey, look at that. There we go. And this should be the exact same maze as that uh, mission that I showed you. Uh, this is like the first level uh, version one of this planet. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay. That's brutal. That, um, that took <clears> uh, let's see if there's anything else I can show you planet wise. 
See it's a Death Star. <clears throat> not, yeah. not Death Star. Not, 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 not the Death Star. <laughs> I haven't figured out if the uh, you see the little lines going in a certain direction on these planets. I haven't figured out if that actually means. Any oh no, it doesn't. I was thinking maybe it flows in the direction of, but. Hmm. I want to show scatter shot. How do you get that? Well, by oh, not man. dying. <laughs> by not getting nailed. That's how you get it. So there's a fine line of going uh, too fast and uh, too slow, you might say. Um, yeah, yeah. It almost feels like you need to actually keep moving. There we go. There's scatter shot. Oh, yeah, now, that's here's the nice. Thing with scatter shot, though. The bullets don't go very far. Like, see? Oh, they really, have a range. They have a range. Ah, so, I see. Boy, they oh, are one shot me on this. <laughs> they really are. They're getting you hard. It must be because you have no more shield left. Well, you, only, you basically... I'm down to one shield, so I might... Like I said, I might have turned off that function. Mm. Yeah, strafe around. Just do it. Yeah, that's it. So you have Let's to... Get you him. get your three shots, and then you have to wait. It's yep. not... Just like, oh, your weapon cools down. Yeah. Oh, yes. There we go. Oh, oh here we are. <laughs> oh, you can just... Oh, uh, yes. No. Wasn't in range for that. Oh, I see the mechanic for those beacons. There's like a... There's an inner ring and an outer ring. Yeah, and... for how quickly it'll... Um, yeah, yeah. It'll go. And they, uh, there we go. And then I can leave, leave the, the planet. planet. See leave ya. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> and then those are the asteroids that you can actually take Blow out up. while you're floating around. You know, if you're, in case you're bored. <laughs> bored. Um, sure, we'll do that one again. <coughs> Which was destroy. So, he, like, yeah, see, this is only destroy nine enemies rather than 15. Uh, which the mission has. Oh, yeah. Done. So yeah, yeah. You less. So mines are counted as enemies, obviously. Ah, I went off oh no! All right, off let's planet. Go, let's go to another planet because we've seen that one. Let's go tiger yeah. stripe. Tiger stripe, yeah. Because uh, there's. I want to see. I think this is the one. Sometimes, some of your uh, turrets are actually putting a shield around the other turrets, and you have oh. to destroy. That <coughs> first. Oh, oh, homing missile. Yeah. Ooh. Fire and ignore. Or oh, into or die. just or just <laughs> kamikaze. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, so here I'm going to show you. If I go back to missions and I go to the end of this, Laser Valley. So I say all is. beacons because these are going to be the more complicated version. Level. There we go. See how that's protected? Oh, yeah, right. So, what you gotta do is you gotta figure out where is that beacon. Where that is... Beacon. beacon is down here. Of course. So, is the beacon the thing that... Oh, yes, I see how they're all interlinked. Uh, oh! Well... <laughs> that looks... Hard. I, can see, I see what you mean, though. Yeah. Oh, you got something. Did I got an achievement? We got it unlocked. You unlocked something. Oh, I unlocked something. Okay, not surprising. Um, so yeah, that's, that seems really cool. That's Gravatar in in essence. It's you know normally I'm not much of a retro gamer. Uh, mm. I mean, like I said, the name Gravatar I was familiar with, but I couldn't necessarily go. Oh, I know what game that is until I loaded this up and I went, "Hey, well, that looks like that Atari one <laughs> that really annoyed the crap out of me because I couldn't do anything good." Um, yeah. So, uh, but it, the graphics definitely capture that retro feel. Um, mm. And like I said, it has that just one more play feeling to it, which is great if you just, you know, you got 15 minutes to kill. You feel like playing a game, but you don't feel like relearning the controls, knowing mm. where you are in the mission. Um, so in a lot of ways, it's like playing pinball, right? Um, yeah, it's true. It's, it's a casual in, experience. It's, yeah, it's that casual experience of walking into an arcade, plunking a quarter in, not needing to know five bazillion rules, and just being able to play. Um, and knowing that when you're done with, whether you're done with a single mission or done with a single planet, uh, you know, it's easy enough to hop back into, uh, you know, kill some time. It's casual. And like I said, pricing, 
from what I see, I believe full price on uh, this is uh, $9.99. I've seen the other recharged games on sale for like $6.99. Um, I think one of them, I'm trying to think if it's Missile Command, you can pick up for like $2.99. Um, so the pricing is, is definitely reasonable. Uh, keep mm, an right. eye out. Keep an eye out on Epic Game Store if they maybe put more of these, uh, you know, as part of a free game or whatever. Um, definitely the type of game to to scoop up and pick out. But all in all, I'm gonna say uh, they're it's it's not breaking the bank for you, and you're going to get some enjoyment out of it. Um, so I'm rather uh, I'm rather pleased with with that aspect. Let me see if I can real quick get into who this is the developer by um, because I had it for a moment and now I don't remember Um, Adam Vision Studios that's who it is oh okay Adam Vision Studios gotta give gotta give props to the uh, to the indie scene (laughs) Um, Sneaky Box is also there uh, 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 working with them too that's cool. Yeah, we do like to support indie studios yeah. on the Blackhead. So, so there yeah, you that have it, like folks. A fun game. Yeah, a uh, little bit, a uh, little bit different uh, thing for us. If you guys like us doing this style of uh, podcast now and then, you know, I know you get sick of hearing about the same old speculation <laughs> stuff from us. Um, let us know. Maybe we'll do a little more of these. Let's play. Maybe you want us to actually do this stuff with, uh, you know, pinball tables that drop. Uh, I know we've got something else in the works that'll uh, be coming up in mid-July that you'll be able to uh, take a peek at. Uh, mm. So, I don't know. Like I said, give us some feedback. Uh, you can nail us there on the Twitters. At Blockade is a definitely your best bet um, to do that. Uh, if you happen to be a game studio that would like us to uh, take a look at something that you've got, uh, feel free to either message us on Twitter or tag us in our email, which is blah blah blockade at gmail.com all of uh, our shows and info can be found at our website which is blockadepinball.com uh what do you think jared what was your uh, thought of what you saw yeah i really like the look at that it's uh, uh the original asteroids really frustrated me as a game because it was just so brutal yeah um but i think that i could see where you're coming from with the the whole or oh, maybe just one more aspect of it because it's sort of it's all the levels are designed where you could see the goal really clear that you need to do. And the thing I like about it is you don't have to restart your progress from the very beginning. Each time you go in there, if you lose a life, whatever, go back in there. It remembers what you've done. So you can actually move through the game and have a much better experience that way. That's the thing that was really, really soul destroying in the original um, <laughs> asteroids. They'd, and it looks like they've solved that problem in this game, which I think will make it a lot more yeah. accessible for people. So, yeah, I really, yeah. I think it looks really good. I like, like said, the graphical style of it. If you guys, if you guys want to see uh, more of their work, I do have uh, uh, Centipede. So um, if you're interested in seeing what Centipede looks like and plays, uh, I'd be happy to throw that up and uh, mm. give everybody a taste, too, of what that is. But that's all we got for you this time. Uh, so until later. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.